I've been learning how to make this a lovely pink crinoline fascinator. Yes, that is called a crinoline. It's actually called a pipe crinoline or a tubular crinoline. Or you get to know more about that if you join us in our crinoline masters class that I've been talking about. You get to know all types of fascinators. So anyway, today you're going to learn how to make this. So let's get straight into today's tutorial. Here are the items you'll be needing. Your scissors your uhu gum, your cutter, that's why I cut her, you know, that's my favorite. <laughs> then you'll be needing your Alice band, the thin one, you don't need the fat one, that's the slimmest thing, your measurement tape, your, I made use of um, fishing line here, so you'll be needing your fishing line and your needle. You, you can make use of a matching thread to the tubular crane line that you have. Then you're making use of your bias. Then you're making use of this lovely feathers. I make them one time. They are on my channel. So you can check how to make this type of feathers. Then this flower. I love this flower. Don't you just love it? What's the name? If you know the name, please let me know in the comment section below. Then these are stamen. <laughs> we'll look at it later. Then this is your clip. Then your plastic hat wire. Have you attended our hat wire class? Do let me know in the comment section below. Then this is your tubular or pipe. In the market, they call it pipe. There's actually your the tubular cream line that is called online. Okay, so now I'm checking the size that I would want so I know what to cut it as in the size to cut it at. All right, so I'm taking my measurement tape now because I want it that big and I'm measuring what I just circled like that and it came out to 22 inches and I want six of that so that's going to give me 22 times six is going to give me 132 inches so that's what I've just got so now I'm going to be taking my hat wire plastic hat wire remember you're making use of plastic hat wire so it is not seen inside it becomes like transparent because it's actually use a colorless I'll call it anyway so now I'm moving it inside pushing it through the length 132 inches keep watching now after I've passed the plastic hat wire inside and I'm gonna cover it like so okay then once I'm done I'll take my hat wire cutter to cut because of the wire that it's inside and um, take my scissors to cut sometimes it cuts both at the same time so I actually did that when I was cutting the other ones just this first one that it refused then I'm gonna take my needle and thread and I'm gonna sew them all together keep watching and learn making sure that they enter in each other at the uh, you know forming that little circle in between so that's what I did to all the six so just watch how I sew them all together notice I'm taking I'll take them in loops inside to hold them firmly and sew them also keep watching and learning
button below and if you haven't subscribed you want to subscribe click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos So I'm checking to see where I want it to be. You can put it at a side on the top or wherever. But I'm a side person. I think side cream line tend to look cuter. That's me anyway. One man's meat and another man's poison. So let me know how you prefer yours in the comment section below. <laughs> So what I did was pull out the stock and I tore it into pieces, into the petals. I didn't want to sew it like that. I don't know why I didn't want to sew it like that. It would have to be nice sewing it like that. Well, I decided to divide it like so. And then I started taking each of the petals and sewing it in the hole that I wanted them to be. Keep watching and learning. watching and learning. sticking the feathers so I decided to stick the feathers to the side like so keep watching and learning Should be the same. 
same color. That's how this beautiful pink crinoline fascinator came to be. Now, if you watched the last game challenge video that we had when we made this video, this is the person that won Chantala. Congratulations! I think you've won before, so you know the procedure. Contact us in the Vent Craft Academy and collect your gift. Now, for today's challenge. Now, if you watched carefully from the beginning to the end, you would notice that there are some items I didn't make use of. If you know what that is, do let me know in the comment section below and you would be the proud winner of Fascinator Class 1. But I'm only going to be picking one person, so try to be the winner. <laughs> if you want to know more on how to manipulate crinoline to make various hair accessor accessories, you need to join us in the Vent Craft Academy and ask for crinoline master's class. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. And to see more videos on crinoline, please click this video above. See you.